Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. We are trying a new brand to me. I purchased this a while ago. Just took me a while to get around to actually smelling these. So this is the Dime Beauty Perfume Sampler Kit and there are five scents in here. I think they have at least six scents in their repertoire, but they only include some of them in here. I know two of these are supposed to be dupes for other fragrances and we'll talk about that then, but I wanted to smell all of them, give you my thoughts and opinions. So we have I Love Your Smell Baby, Lovely Sweet Dreams, Malibu Night, Seven Summers, and Dance Le Bois. Um, so it says they have the Dime Proprietary Blend in them. They, ooh, they're frosted glass, that's kinda cool. And they do say the name on them and they have the scent notes, not the scent notes, they have the name on the back. So if you're interested in this, please do consider subscribing. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried anything from Dime, if you know how long they last um, and what your experiences with them as a brand have been. And then um, let me know if you think I should get any of these based on what I think when I smell them here in a minute. All right, we're gonna start with I Love Your Smell, Baby. And um, I do have all of the notes written down in front of me but I have no idea what these are really going to smell like. I was trying to imagine them, but. Oh, this is very light. Let's... I feel like I can use this vial really quickly, like one use. This is really sweet. Um, it's a very fruity kind of, like there's some berries in there, but mixed with like, I want to say there's like some creaminess in there, but like a citrus creaminess, if that makes sense. I was trying to think like a, like a smoothie. Um, so our notes are lemonade and sparkling pomegranate are the top notes. Uh, yeah, I get that. Then we have juicy raspberries, fresh cranberries, warm milk, and, or warm vanilla and creamy musk. Those two are the bottom, the base notes. Uh, basically kind of what I was thinking, like there's that creaminess in there, which I think you get from the musk and the vanilla, but you also have like a little bit of lemon note to it, but it's like a creamy lemon. Like I'm thinking of, you know, when you have the frozen lemonades, but you add like some cream to that frozen type of lemonade, but then you have some berries in there too. This is a really nice one. I don't know how long it's going to last. Like I feel like it's fading pretty quickly here as I'm trying to smell it. And I know clean beauty don't, they don't last nearly as long, unfortunately, but this is one that I think I might purchase. I'm going to put this in my rotation of samples to try, but this is definitely, I, I do like that one for sure. Next up, we have Lovely Sweet Dreams. This one has a little bit more color to it. Ooh, that first one just kind of went, not, not a good first spray impression. Hmm. This smells familiar to me. I feel like there's something that I've tried that is familiar to this. It's sweet. It's another sweet type of a scent. It has like a gourmand vanilla type note to it, more prominent than the last one, but there's something else in there. I'm not really sure. What am I smelling? So, the notes on this one are, top notes are jasmine petals, freesia, and rose stem. Middle notes are white moss and fresh balsam. Base notes are amberwood, vanilla cream, and sweet musk. Maybe it's the jasmine I'm getting in there. I'm not getting that freesia, because freesia doesn't always agree with me. It's kind of, it, it, it does have that vanilla, like that's a very prominent, very prominent in here. Maybe it's similar to Mod Vanilla. I haven't smelled that one forever. Um, but maybe that's what I'm finding it similar to. I do like this one too. This is another one that I definitely would wear. I think this one's more of a cooler weather. Um, like right now, it would be a really good time of the year to wear it. I wouldn't want to wear it in the summer, I don't think. But this one is... Oh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily floral, but there's like depth to it. Like there's a, it smells kind of edible, but not edible at the same time. 
but like almost a spiciness. There's almost like a bit of a spiciness. Maybe that's from the rose stem. I like that one a lot too. So, so far our first two, I love your smell baby and lovely sweet dreams. Those are both winners and I would, I can't wait to wear them fully at this point. Next up we have Malibu Night. This one is the one that I was a little nervous about because it does have a lavender note in it and lavender tends to give me a headache unless it's really like a light um, kind of hidden in the background. This is a, I feel like this is more unusual. Not like something I've smelled before. Um, the notes on this are muddled raspberries and tropical fruits. Okay, maybe that's what I'm getting at. I'm like, feel like there's, actually this one doesn't have uh, lavender in it. It's the next one that has lavender. I'm kind of getting that there's some tropical, like unidentifiable fruit, like not necessarily a papaya, but like, you know, when you get, my mom used to buy these fruit juices in a can and they would be like mixed fruits together. And I feel like that's what, what that kind of smell is. I don't get raspberry from this one. Rose petals and jasmine flower are the mid. Base are warm vanilla, coconut cream, and soft musk. I don't dislike this one. It's just kind of odd. Um, I almost get like that little tinniness from that fruit juice. Like, and maybe that's, I'm just bringing that in now because it's like a memory. I feel like I'm getting the raspberry a little bit more. There's like a, a little bit of the sharpness from the raspberry. I feel like the coconut, you do get some coconut in here, I, an initial spray, but I'm, it's faded and I, even though it's the base, I don't really get a lot of it. So I feel like if you want a fruit, but like something different than kind of what's out there, I don't feel like, it's not like an Escada uh, type of a fruit if that makes sense. I feel like the first one was more in line with the Scott at this one. I don't dislike this one. I don't love it. We'll see how it wears on skin, but of the ones I've tried so far, that's the least likely for me to purchase or want to go out and purchase. Um, but it, it does feel more unusual, but still being like a fruity type of a fragrance. So you might really like that. If you like fruity, uh, I would, I say Malibu and I might be a one for you to try. Seven Summers, this is the next one. This is the one that has lavender in it. Um, and this one is supposed to be a dupe for Cloud, according to uh, what I've seen and like people talking about. Um, I guess I could see that I, I, I do own Cloud. I don't ever wear Cloud because I just, I'm not a big Cloud fan. Um, yeah, I can kind of get that. It's kind of like has a fluffy like musk vanilla to it. Um, it's not like a true vanilla to me. It's like has a little stink, a little stink to it. Um, <laughs> but the notes on this are bergamot zest, juicy pear, lavender blossom. I do not get pear. Uh, or maybe, maybe that's mixing in. No. I think it's more the vanilla mix with the musk. We have uh, vanilla orchid, whipped cream, and sweet coconut in the mid. Base are Blonde Woods, Ambrox, Fluffy Musk. So yeah, it's, I will probably give it a go and I will wear it at least once, but I don't see myself purchasing this. I'm not a big Cloud fan. I know like a lot of people love Cloud. They love Baccarat Rouge um, and all of those, but the, the, I don't know. I just, I haven't loved that. DNA, uh, maybe that's because a lot of them do have the lavender in it and I just, it does give me a bit of a headache. I, I'm getting just a little bit of a headache right here um, from that one. So yeah, that could be part of the reason why I don't love it. And also just because I, it, they're kind of a dry perfume to me. Like some of them have like a juiciness to it and then some of them have like a dryness to it and it's more of a dry and I don't nor normally like the drier types of perfumes, if that makes any sense. I don't know. That's how, to me, I'm like, this is more dry. This is more juicy. I tend to go for the juicy ones. And maybe that's where Malibu Night, because it's not quite as juicy as the first, like the first scent. And I tend to like that juiciness just a little bit more. The last one in here is Dance Le Bois. 
And uh, this is supposed to be a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, which I think is funny that they have one for Cloud and one for Baccarat Rouge, and Cloud is supposed to be similar to Baccarat Rouge. I don't know. Um, ooh, I just got my hand. This smells kind of like paper to me. Um, not, not loving it. Uh, red, the notes are red saffron, almond, and fir balsam. Middle notes are night jasmine, sweet amber, and ambrox. Base notes are cedarwood, ambergris, and moss. It's so light. It's such, a, it's a very, very light set. It is the lightest of all of these. And it does give me like kind of a paper type of a scent. Um, if you think of whispers in the library, I kind of am getting a little bit of that uh, in there too. It's not terrible. Do I want to wear either of the last two? Not really. I'm going to um, eventually, I, I mean, I have like hundreds of samples that I'm eventually going to wear, but um, if I was going to rank these, I think I would rank them pretty much in the order that I tried them. Uh, I Love Your Smell Baby is number one. I really like that one. Um, Lovely Sweet Dreams, I did like that one. That would be number two. Malibu Nights was okay. And then, yeah, I think I still would put Seven Summers above Dance Le Bois just because this one hardly, it's it's getting a little peppery now at the end. Like, uh, uh, you know, when pepper makes you sneeze, like that kind of a, that scent from the pepper, I'm getting just a little bit of that at the end. So, uh, the first two maybe purchased worthy, worthy. The other three, I don't, for me personally, I don't see myself wanting to purchase them. When I looked at Alta, just as I was filming, uh, like gathering the notes, these were $52 each. They're not horribly priced. Um, they're not like super cheap either. You know, they're not like finery prices or lower, um, or TJ Maxx kind of prices. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I feel like I might end up picking up I Love Your Smell Baby. I want to see how long it lasts, though, because if I can only smell it for like 10 minutes, then no, I don't want to get it. But let me know if you've tried Dime, what your experiences with Dime has been. Let me know how you are doing as well. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I can't wait to talk to you next time.